so um, and uh, no, no problems at all. We did have one problem with the gasoline support van that broke down, uh, but otherwise it was great. So there have been lots of reports, and you've had to deal with this, uh, and are trying to deal with it about fires. And, and I mean, I assume that has to do with batteries. Uh, and what are you doing to make sure that the yeah. perception sure. is that Teslas are not safe? Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, with respect to the fires, it's worth noting that um, all, all cars have some propensity to catch on fire, uh, but our car is, is eight times less likely than a gasoline car. So it's, it's, it's important to appreciate that no car is, is, is completely fireproof. Um, also, when uh, fires occur, they've only occurred after high-speed impacts, um, and there have never been any injuries. In fact, our, our car is, um, I believe, uh, well, at least Tesla is, is certainly unique in, in that no one has ever had a serious injury in our cars ever under any circumstances. Is there a part of you, Elon, that feels a little redeemed today because there were people who were running, what's he thinking, what's he smoking, how is this going to work? Is there a part of you that feels redeemed today after what the cars have done? Um, I, I do. I think this is, this is an important uh, historic milestone uh, to be able to travel across the country essentially as conveniently as one could do with a gasoline car. Um, and it's, it's worth perhaps just saying, saying a bit about what our goal is with the superchargers. The superchargers are actually free to use forever for, for Tesla customers. So our goal is to provide free long distance travel throughout the country forever. And we're putting solar panels over the supercharger stations. So the basic idea is to be able to travel for for free forever uh, on pure sunlight. I think many people believe that electric cars are the future. They, they'll have to be, and, and you're at the forefront of that transformation, and these are beautiful cars, they are. But they're expensive, I mean, $71,000, and they're kind of more right. for, not necessarily for moms or... Well, actually, they are, actually. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah so explain, I mean, are you gonna make a less expensive car to broaden the range? Yeah, there's, there's two pieces to it. There's the, the affordability, and I agree that the car is a little on the, on the high side. I mean, after various tax breaks, it actually takes it down to about $60,000. And the fact that you can travel free long distance and your gasoline costs much less takes it down to a gasoline equivalent cost for probably about 50, but still, still too expensive for most people. Um, what we really need to do is get to our third generation car, which will be about half the price of the, of the, the Model S. It'll be a bit smaller, um, and that's coming out in about three years. You, re um, you recently to tweeted, though, uh, we were in there with your kids, five boys, which yeah. I know is a lot of activity, right. that you're looking forward to a road trip with your wife and your five boys that's in the right. car. Yeah. What is the secret to how that's going to go? Well, um, <laughs> if, if anyone's... <laughs> five cars. Yes, yeah, right. that's right. Um, well, uh, so as preparation, we, we did watch uh, National Aunt Lampoon's Vacation. Yes, yes, great movie. Uh, no dog yeah, on it, the it, top. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're ready. So, uh, yeah, exactly. I, I'm sure it'll be, there'll be some drama on the trip. Um, but but the, the Model S uh, is the only stand that actually can take seven people. Um, so it can take, uh, it has room for five adults, two kids, plus room in the front for, uh, and, for like and lots of toys. Yeah, obviously, exactly. obviously cost is one, one question about yeah. electric cars. And, and second is charging station, that yes. people are having confidence that they're Absolutely. not going to run out of power. Yes. How far away are we from that? I think we're, we're getting quite close. So at this point, about 80% of the, of the U.S. population is covered by superchargers. Uh, by the end of this year, we expect to be in the high 90s, so probably 95 to 98%. One quick question for me, too. Is this notion of space travel, what is it that you and Jeff and, and others are, <laughs> looking, really switching <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. are, are looking to do? What's your goal? Who's Jeff? <laughs> right, sorry. Yeah. Well, I mean, we have some prior context. Yes. <laughs> well, just, we do. Yeah. Well, there's other people at the table. <laughs> right. So um, what, what are you trying to do? With, with, with space travel. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, our, our, our goal with SpaceX is to improve rocket technology to the point where oh, ultimately we can transport large right. numbers of people and cargo to Mars. Right. Yeah, this is going to sound like quite a non sequitur to a lot of people, but it is in the transport arena, I suppose. Yeah. And the junior <laughs> you're referring to is Bezos? Bezos, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. 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 yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay, all right, Elon. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations. You might want to talk to Sarah Jessica Parker on your way out because she asked for a card from one of your right. guys. I think she's interested. Well, it is something that Carrie Bradshaw can only dream of. A new line of shoes from Sarah Jessica Parker. She's in Studio 57 and first on CBS this morning. A look at her designs. I'll bet she's wearing one of her shoes. Plus the chance of one more Sex in the City reunion. But she's <laughs>